NAPSA Stars Football Club head coach Mohamed Fati has tested positive to COVID-19. Fati, who was seemingly absent on the NAPSA bench yesterday in their Week 13 fixture against Red Arrows, received the news of his results before the match after the team did their usual random tests. NAPSA Stars Football Club said in a statement that Fati has since gone into self-isolation. His assistant coach, Agri Hamakwenda, will drill the team until Fati's return. Fatih has wished his players well in coming fixtures and urged them to remain focused during his absence. Napsa stars face Forest Rangers in a midweek fixture. This is according to a statement released to ZNBC News in Lusaka by Napsa Stars Football Club media officer Gwen Chipasola. And the Chipolo Polo Chan team has undergone COVID-19 tests ahead of Tuesday's game against Tanzania. The COVID-19 test is part of the medical routine that Zambia and all other 15 participating countries are subjected to 48 hours before the match is any match is played. Chipolo Polo team Dr. George Piri says Zambia will know the player's COVID-19 status within 24 hours. Dr. Piri says the tests were conducted smoothly as per requirement under the CAF medical guidelines. He says the players are riding on the COVID-19 protocols and minimizing close contact with each other except during training. According to the tournament regulations, players that test positive will not take part in the game with each team requiring a minimum of 11 negative players to take part in a game. Former champion Zesco United have gone second on the FAS MTN Super League table after defeating the title holders Nkana Football Club 2-1 in a week 13 fixture played this afternoon. Zimbabwean import Tabani Kamusoko continued from where he stopped from after picking any injury, an injury and opened the scoreline in the 19th minute before Nkana's Ronald Sate Sate Kampamba equalized in the 40, 54th minute. When all thought the game was over, Zesco's veteran striker Winston Kalengo scored the, to make it 2-1 in the 81st minute as Ndola Giants got the bragging rights. Zesco United now stand on 22 points as they are a point shy of log leaders present Leopards, while Unkana are now 13th on the table with 14 points. In Choma, sister clubs Green Eagles and Young Eagles Green Eagles played to a one or draw. Bonfest Sunzu scored an own goal in the 13th minute as Young Green Eagles took the lead with Shadrick Mulungwe equalized for Agri Chiangi's side with 24 minutes strike. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe.